Our home is a mini Beit HaMikdash. The only thing we fortify is our home. The first time the Torah says about something that's not good refers to a person who is alone. Alone doesn't mean only physically alone. A person could be connected to so many people, but he's alone in the sense that he's not connecting the right way, in the way that will bring the most success out of that relationship. Marriage, children, all these relationships are going to make the difference between a great life, a mediocre life, or a failure life. Every young boy, every young girl thinks about having children, having a beautiful home, a warm home, a happy home, and then they get married. And suddenly they start to realize, one second, we're not exactly the same. Getting married, raising children, are from the most fundamental parts of our Torah. To be a good spouse, to be a good parent, the psychology involved requires months and years of training. Imagine someone holding your hand through the dating process, through getting married, through the years of marriage as things change, holding your hands with your young children and as they get older, someone dependable, reliable, that's gonna give you the right advice, that's by Ne'eman. We're gonna have rabbis coming to speak about these topics. We're gonna have ladies' events, men's events. The Torah is gonna to teach us how to have proper, healthy communication between spouses, how to deal with our children. Torah has rules of family purity. I've been, thank God, a rabbi in our community for many years, and the beracha to our community comes from maintaining the Jewish home. Just like in business, you want to maintain the business and you're constantly working to keep furthering the success of the business. So too, a person has to know that marriage and a family needs constant maintenance. Talking with a lot of the young Khatanim today, you just see it's a communication skill that they need to gain. It's a knowledge. If you just gave it to them and they would apply it to their marriages, to their daily life, they would enjoy and experience things in a lot of better ways. Who is this for? It's for the couple that's marriage is great and they want it just to be greater. It's for the couple whose marriage is perfect. It's for the couple that's struggling. A couple that has no children, a couple that has 10 children. Every single couple is going to benefit from buying the Iman. How happy I was to hear about the formation of this new organization, which is long overdue in our community. We really believe that after coming to these gatherings and speeches, you will go home feeling empowered. You will go home feeling more confident. You will go home with a plan. Here's one thing I know about you. You want to be happy every single day. You want to have love every single day. The goal of buying a man is to make you put your head on your pillow at night and feel like this is my home, this is my life, and I love it. Coming to our community this weekend, as Hashem, we help to bring this organization to you. Please look out for it, sign up, get involved. Bait Neiman will be hosting its first ever event for our community with great speakers, great sessions that will give a small taste of what is yet to come. We look forward to seeing you and we bless every single member of our community that they should have the merit of building a Bayit Ne'eman Yisrael.